Oh, this. We'll get to the story on his hands in a moment. Here's Ty Chandler, huge hole left side. And Chandler picks up four. The reason Georgia was so successful at, at gaining, getting pressure on Garantano was they were timing up the snaps. Quick hitter to the outside. That'll go for a Tennessee first down. First time since 2011. They were held to negative rushing yards. He had a great first half against Georgia. Nothing in the second. Five wide. Garantano delivers past midfield, and they pick up four. Brandon Johnson will leave it a third and two. Instead, they're going to roll the pocket. Garantano delivers a strike right past the marker. It's Brandon Johnson again. Opened up the space on the outside with the defender getting over across late. Eric Gray in at running back. He gets his first touch and finds a hole. And they're having a lot of success with behind that big Tennessee offensive line. Mays getting the start at right guard in this one. They're not sure if Jameer Johnson, their left tackle, is going to be able to go. This is Gray going side to side to pick up three. Gray again. And Tennessee just pounding it up the middle. It's a first down. Isaiah Gibson finally making the stop after seven. Tennessee's converted a pair of third downs on this drive. This is third and 11. Garantano pressured and taken down by Boogie Watson. It's a loss of seven. Underneath the arms there, just enough, and beat it with speed to the outside. That's a great job to get low there around the corner and get to Garantano. Tennessee shows pressure. Looking to stop the run, and Rose picks up four. Jeremy Pruitt hasn't been especially impressed with his defensive line play over the course of this still young season. On the slant, that's complete. Prefer like I said, this tempo, Kentucky hasn't been lining up, so he wanted to try to get it out before they could line up. And Wilson on the run, complete to the outside. Up last week for the Cats, Trayvon Flowers with the stop. You saw Kennedy, the center, pointing out to Jamin Davis right before the snap. Darren Taylor to the edge, picked up! Intercepted by Kentucky in a free run. Lots of green for Kelvin Joseph. His second pick in his many games. And a pick six puts the Cats on the board. Two, who's a heck of a player. You just can't throw a quick speed quick out to the field on close man coverage. You should walk to the line of scrimmage as a quarterback and go, not, not doing that. It's over the middle. It's a strike for a first down to Brandon Johnson. His eyes starts left, moves back right to open up the hole. He gets 44 of that linebacker. Game last week against Mississippi State. 11 tackles and a pick. He's right back at it again. Second down, 21 for JT Shrout. First pass attempt. Pulls it back, lets it go, and that is intercepted again. Kentucky's got another takeaway. Tyrell Asian came away with that one. To this Kentucky defense, they are ball hawks. Tyrell Asian on the outside. This is a heck of an interception. He's playing over the top. They're trying to squeeze a fade route. The welcome site for Jarrett Garantano. Got to get this run game going. Got to take some pressure off. Him. Let's see if they test it in the air. I don't think they do. They'll run it again. Straight ahead. Touchdown, Tennessee. Ty Chandler. Huge. Unbalanced to the left, or at least a tackle on that side. Wilson going to throw in daily with a shove of Bryce Thompson to get a little bit of room, and that's all he needed. Options on the year, but one of the reasons they wanted to get him involved, 6-3. He's got a big frame, and Bryce Thompson's going, come on, look at the push-off. Let's see it here. It's a little hand fighting. Pressure from the edge. Garantano never saw it. Lost the football after he was down. And it was picked up by one of his offensive linemen, Jordan Wright, sack of the night of the day. Yeah, it's Juan E. Morris, the left tackle here, trying to get out to Jordan Wright. The tough part about that for Morris is Wright walked up late. So Juan Ye was thinking he was going to be working on Josh Pascal over the ball, and Jordan Wright walks up. Now his surface area, the space that he has to make up. Ruffalo. Drills it, and Kentucky has settled for a field goal. It's really been the most successful part of this Kentucky offense today. On second and two, first down Rodriguez. Kentucky's rushing offense, one of the best in the country. Top 20 right now. They led the nation.
Wilson keeps it, finds the edge to the 10, and he will yield to the defense and step out at the five. Here all day. Uh, I mentioned earlier in the first half that Tennessee was crashing the mesh. Uh, backside defensive ends and outside linebackers were screaming flat down the line of scrimmage, trying to take away zone runs from the backside. Terry Wilson, just an excellent decision, pulling it out. We even said it earlier. There might be instances where Eddie Grant says, you know what, don't even hand it off, keep it. Drake Jackson, the center, pointing out the changes. Rodriguez again. And he slides in for a Kentucky touchdown. Two-yard plunge for Chris Rodriguez. Put his head down and, get, and got in. Watch this. See, just man on man. Look at that left guard right there. Kenneth Horsey got pushed back initially. The Four-star prospect. Let's it go down the sideline. Leafly cut to the flag to boot. And a heck of a ball. Are you kidding me? Look at the throw by the true freshman. I mean, there's a little wobble to it, but it is on the money right where it needed to be in a great play on the outside as well to keep a foot in bounds. Jackson said, how can we complain about bumps and bruises when the chemotherapy is leaving our offensive line coach with so many blisters on his feet he can barely stand up? Gatewood scrambles for a first down. 